Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and in today's tutorial we're going to talk about string formatting. Um, there's two ways to do string formatting. Uh, the, the old way and the new way. I prefer the new way and we'll talk about that in the next tutorial. Um, since the old way still works, we're going to still discuss it. Um, the old way uses a percent symbol or modulo to uh, indicate that we're trying to add content into a string object or we want to add content into a string object just like that, some modulo. Um, so we're going to talk about that first. It does have some limitations but um, it still exists because many programmers still use it and if they were to you know yank it from uh, software then we probably would have some issues. So they just keep it around since a lot of programmers are using it and you know it as long as you understand it has limitations and it's not as good as string formatting string method then um, you'll be right you'll be good to go so let's take a look at it first things first we're going to create a string and say this is our string well this is what we want it to look like when we're done string like that but we got to add something in here we're going to do a modulo or a percent symbol and we're going to say s we want it in the string type format and then we'll close out our uh, string object. And then we're going to do call the operator of the formatting, which is the percent symbol or the modulo. And then we're going to add another string here. We're going to say this is our string, like that. So what's going to happen here is this is our string object, and this is our operator, and anything on the right hand side is going to get added in over here. And it's going to create a new string object. So it's going to take this content and add it in here. So I hit return. This is our string. All right, so that's pretty cool. Um, we can add more than uh, one value to our string object. We can say, let's do a print, since we haven't used print much, get used to using it. Print, and we're gonna say, we are learning. And I'm gonna do, uh, add a value in here. We're gonna do S, and then I'm gonna do another um, percent symbol, and then S, so we're adding two in here. We want to say, we are learning Python 3. So we're going to add two values, close out a string um, object, and then we're going to do uh, our operator of the percent symbol. So anything on the right hand side is going to get added in here. Then we're going to do a tuple. Now, if you have more than one value, it has to be in a tuple or a dictionary. All right. Um, if you have one value, you can just leave it as a string. So we're going to we're adding two values. So we're going to do Python. And we're separate, separated by a common, comma, comma, and we're going to add three. All right. I'll hit return. And what did I forget? Oh, I forgot to close out our print statement. There we go. All right, so <laughs> let's see what's going on here. Uh, first off, let's point out my mistake. Uh, we, we do print, and I forgot to close out the print statement. I forgot the uh, parentheses at the end of this one. So it should actually go down here. All right, so we do a print statement, which is gonna print out our new string object, which removes the, the, um, ex, or the quotes on each side. We are learning Python, and it's gonna add Python in here, and it's gonna add three in here. So it goes in order, it goes Python, and then three. All right, um, you can't change the order in the old way of string formatting, and the new way using the formatting string method we can change the order to whatever we like which is a pretty cool feature also let's look at um, the same example here that we did but we're gonna do it in a dictionary format this time so we're gonna do um, print all right and we're gonna do we are learning and we're gonna do uh, percent symbol then I'm gonna do uh, parenthesis Parentheses, I'm gonna do language. No, let's just do lang, because I'm lazy. Lang, and then we're gonna do, do s at the end, saying we want it in a string format. And then we'll do another percent symbol, and this time we're gonna do uh, version. So we'll just do ver, and then we'll do s for um, string format. That's the way we want it out. Print it out to us, I should say. And then, um, our operator and this time we're going to put it in the dictionary so we got lang here 
So the first one we want to do is Lang, then colon, and we're going to say Python. All right, and then comma, and then our next one is going to be. Oh, hold on, I got to move this over. It's going to go off the screen. Um, our next one is going to be version. So ver, and then we'll do this three. Close out our curly brackets. Close out our print statement. Hit return, and I did something wrong. Well, the invalid syntax is right here, up a comma instead of a colon, so we'll just hit up, go back, hit return, there we go, sorry about that. We are learning Python 3. Now, my mistake was, in a dictionary, each uh, key and value needs to be separated by a colon, not a comma, and when it went off the screen, I kind of lost track where it was, so this should be a colon. Now, what what's happening here? Well, Python goes through and runs this. When Python goes through and runs this, it's looking, it sees lang, so it's, that's the key. It's going to grab the key and print its value here. Same here with ver, which is off my screen. Um, it's going to grab the key and print the value here, 3. So we got we are learning Python 3. So that's the basics of the old way of string formatting. Um, we will dig deeper into this because string formatting really has a lot of uh, features and things you can do with it so um, instead of digging so deep into it with the old way because it's not the preferred method anymore we're gonna go into the next tutorial and talk about um, string formatting with the format string method and we'll discuss that more and that's where we're gonna go more in depth into into string formatting um, like I said the only reason why this still exists is because it's been around since Python was created, and so many programmers are used to it, so it's, you know, it's still around. But, you know, like we said before, we want you guys to understand what's out there and what's going on with Python, so that's why we explained it to you. I hope you understand, and I'm sorry about the mistake I made there, but uh, we'll see you in the next tutorial. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a nice day.